What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Old School Gaming with your buddy Rick420 Wood. Uh, I've been trying to record uh, gameplay footage of this one game for like a week now, and every time I do it, something happens and I have to restart. Or, um, or just I, I, I haven't been able to finish my recording. So um, I'm starting fresh. I got to show you guys this game. You thought Spawn for the Game Boy was bad. Where do you see this one? Austin Powers, welcome to my underground lair. It's not even a game. It's on the Game Boy. Sure. But it is not a fucking game. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna... Okay, I didn't do it. Rockstar, pretty solid company, right? Let me turn this down so y'all can hear me. Looks promising, all these colors and shit. This is where you, this is where you start to get a hint that it's gonna be a shitty time playing this fucking game. Ah, uh, listen to that. Why? Virus guard attacks. So I save devices and turn my toy. It's going too fast to even keep up with it. One master in the world. Way too fast. But I'm not. I try to read what's going on, and it's just. It's not very engaging. This opening sequence is. That sound is horrid. It's hurting my fucking ears. I like that. That was funny. The Doctor Evil 2000. Y'all remember Windows 2000? That's exactly what it is. Windows 2. Okay. See, look at that. It behaves like a like a laptop. You know, when, like when you just shut off your laptop without clicking shut down, and you turn it back on, and it says, oh, it didn't shut down properly. Yeah. So we're going to hit A. Oh, checking for errors, really. I'm going to move me right here so you guys can see. Jeez Louise. Errors detected. Oh, I'll bet. So this is... This is the main hub of the game right here. This is supposedly <laughs> Dr. Evil's laptop. So let me show you what you can do in this game. Oh, you hit A. If you hit A, you get a nice little screensaver. <gasps> what a feature. I've always wanted a screensaver on my Game Boy. Just in case I go idle for too long. So you hit B. Programs, ooh, programs, what do we got? Literally, you can browse the net, you can type something and save it, you really can, and a calculator. Friculator. That's what this game should be called, Friculator. Friculator, buddy. Okay. That's all it is, it's a freaking calculator. Seven plus nine equals 16, and he does a dance. Oh, well, I guess you could print that? Remember how Game Boy had a printer that you could buy with it to print your selfies and stuff? Along with a camera? So that's the friculator. Let's go to the, the internet. The web unibrowser. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but the Game Boy Color could not connect to the internet by itself. You had to have like a an actual, um, like a cable. You know, I, I don't even know what the cable is called. You know, like a Wi-Fi, like a LAN cable. I think that you would connect to the game. I've never done it, but it's not a, it doesn't have any internet with it. But here is where you can read the synopsis of the movies. <gasps> Wow, that's what I want to do on my Game Boys. Read about a movie that I can watch. Oh boy, that's great. So that's all it is. You just read about the movies. That's all they have to offer. There's no browsing on the internet because it's not actually the internet. Evil Launchpad. Check this shit out. Yeah? Oh, you have to hit B again. Wow, so many choices. Oh, I could do a new document. I could print it with my Game Boy printer. I could erase this. I wish I could erase this whole freaking game, which I can and I will after I show you guys how shitty this game is. You can save. You can load. You can send. Send. 
I bet you have to have the cable for that. Receive. What if I hit receive? Is it going to... Unable to make connection. Yeah. <laughs> New. How tedious is this shit? Who wants to spend two hours writing one little letter at a time? Here. I've got the perfect word for this game. This, this is ridiculous. Who the fuck approved this shit? This is shit. Alright, so let's go back. So that's the programs. Evil things. Here, you can change the sounds. You can change the cursors. You can change the color scheme. Oh, it ain't over yet, guys. Now, they actually do have games on this game that you have to <laughs> look for. Rock, paper, scissors on the Game Boy. How enticing. Oh yes, please, press start. New game. Oh, what's it gonna be? One player. <laughs> Good luck finding two people who wanna play this shit. Fat Bastard will be my opponent. Here we go. <laughs> I don't even understand how to play this, okay? Dang it. Okay, I gotta get at least one on him before I go to the other games. Oh, come on. Okay, now. Forget it, forget it. Okay, I gotta show you the other games we have here. <gasps> Mojo Maze. Ooh. You know what this is? It's Pac-Man. But you're Dr. Evil. That's all, look at it, it's literally a rip-off of Pac-Man. That's all it is. So if you like Pac-Man, you're in luck. You know what, this should be the first thing. They should have just made this the game. That would have been better than what they did. If this were the game, it's still a shitty game, but at least it's a fucking game. Yeah, I did that on purpose so I could die and get out of this fucking thing. Oh, look at this, but if you get the lightning bolt... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's so intense! Look at it right here. Maze, 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 maze. <laughs> so fucking retarded. This game sucks so bad. Yay! See, that's not bad. It, it ain't over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Domination. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is, um, I forget the name of it. Um, it's like, it's Othello. That's what this game is, Othello. I think that's how you say it. So you just take turns with Austin Powers, flipping over the things. And that's what they say every time. I'm hip! So at least it stays accurate to the movie quote. Smashing! I'm hip! Smashing! I'm hip! Smashing! Diabolical! Diabolical. Fab. <gasps> Do I make you randy? Right. Diabolical. Ooh. Fab. It's just that over and over and over again. Ooh. Do I make you randy? Fab. Does Austin Powers even say fab? I will thwart you. That's a new one. I will thwart you. I don't remember that either. Do I make you remember? All right. Diabolical. Oh, shit. Only two spaces left. Who's going to win? All right. I think I won. I won. Uh, I think that's all the games I have. That's it for the games. So let's go back. And that's all this game has to offer. That's it. 
Let's go to the lair. <laughs> Choose background. It could be a world, Dr. Evil's face and his logo. What the fuck is that? Really? So that's what you get. You get different backgrounds for your fucking Game Boy laptop. Ooh. Boy, the kids will love this. This is... This part right here is probably the most entertaining part of the game is... Like, going through these really fast. I'm looking at all the pictures. Wait, go back. I kind of like that one. Okay, that's that's what we're going to have. That's the background now, okay? There we go. And that's Austin Powers' Welcome to My Underground Lair, which should have been called Dr. Evil's Shitty Laptop, and it's not a fucking game. And you did a printer... To use all the functions and a land cable. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I sure as fuck did not. This is Rick420 Wood. Stay away from these fucking games.